Allow me also to start by thanking uh, the co-chairs of the Armenian Caucus, the representatives Frank Malone and Edward for their championing role in having us here to pay the tribute to the memory of the innocent victims of the Armenian genocide. The co-chairs deserve a special credit for the outstanding role in the issues of great significance for the United States, for the Armenian American community, as well as for Armenian clubs. I also would like to extend my deepest sympathy to Yael Kim Boyan, who is with us today, and whose example of personal courage inspires all our compatriots and friends in America and worldwide to continue struggling for justice. And we ask God to give you strong health so you can enjoy a day when our efforts prevail over modern day Turkey's policy of denial and attempts to rewrite the history. The history of your life. The history of sufferings you had to go through simply for people to me. To this end, the young but developing Armenian states will continue to its efforts to defend the truth. We will help to promote a safer world by raising global awareness about our tragedy. Despite Turkey's increasingly active opposition, each year we see more nations condemning the Armenian genocide and calling Turkey to complain about the 1915. Moreover, in Turkey itself, the awareness about our tragedy is growing, and this is very inspiring. It leaves us confident that we are on the right path, and the present Turkish society and government will ultimately reach the point of acknowledging the crimes of their ancestors towards our own nation. We hope that Turkey will realize that this is a precondition for the country to be regarded as a trusted and predictable partner of the international community. In the recent history of Asa, Events in the Balkans and Rwanda and elsewhere around the globe prove that this threat of genocide still unfortunately exists. And the world has not yet adopted an effective mechanism to prevent such crimes. In its turn, this encourages criminal regimes to commit new atrocities, many of whom still go unpunished, which is conditioned in many respects by the absence of a universal and proper condemnation of what happened to us in 1950. On behalf of the people and authorities of Alta, I would like to thank once again our congressional friends and their efforts for the outstanding efforts to bring the issue of the Armenian genocide to a successful and final outcome. And I'm sure I express the feelings of everyone in this hall, as well as those of hundreds of thousands of Armenians in the United States. Recognition of the Armenian genocide by the United States will send a proper signal to those who still share the idea of ethnic cleansing. It will warn that the truth will prevail and the criminals will be named for what they are. On our part, we will continue fulfilling the dream of Yedin Nikoyan, all genocide survivors and the entire Armenian nation. The dream of a strong and prosperous homeland. Thank you for your attention.